What's up guys? It's Chris back in the driveway with another video. On our quest to find the best foam cannon, I want to introduce you to something called a hand pump sprayer. And this is something that can foam, can produce foam without a pressure washer. So for you guys that want to get into the foam stuff and can't get your hands on a gas pressure washer or an electric pressure washer, this is something you can use for small areas of concentration where you want to produce some foam. This foam sprayer is from a company called Weiran and they're from China and you could find it on Amazon. So this is about $29, about the entry level price for some hand pump sprayers. There are a lot of ones that are more expensive, come with more features, but this is a bare bone product that will get you into foaming without a pressure washer. So they give you the bare necessities which you need to produce some foam, your container, your pumping mechanism, as well as one nozzle and one set of foam inserts. There are other companies out there that charge a lot more, but you get more features. You get different nozzle tips which can produce a variety of foam, whether it's more wetter foam or a drier foam. That means the foam, if it's wetter, it will run off a lot faster. If it's drier, it'll stick on to whatever surface you have. So we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and assemble this and uh, take it for a spin. And all I have here is a couple ounces of uh, Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam. Um, it is a concentrate soap. And uh, we filled it up to the max line, which is at about a liter. So I have about three ounces to one liter of uh, water. So right off the bat, as you're tightening the nozzle, um, you can loosen it so you can adjust your spray pattern. Um, it's just either a vertical or a horizontal. And as you're attaching your bottle to your uh, pumping mechanism, you always want to keep this keep this stationary and you want to turn from the bottom. You you would uh you would imagine how many times you could uh, cross thread and damage a bottle and then you have to go ahead and purchase it. We have our setup right here. We have our nozzle, we have our pump, we have our trigger and we can hold the trigger too. It has a this slides right there so you can hold it down as well as we have our pressure release. And this is very important. If you have any chemicals in here that are harsh, before you open it, you want to release the pressure. And even when you're squeezed down on the trigger and you don't have any foam coming out, and you might feel that there is no pressure, but there is a lot of pressure inside of the bottle. So you want to release it before you open the top. You don't want that stuff to spray onto your skin or onto your face. But very simple, very bare bone. Uh, for the price point, I, I like the entry. The only thing is on the smaller models, they don't have an auxiliary nozzle that could connect to a compressed air hose line. So you don't have to pump, you could just charge up the system with your compressed air. It'll have like a little pressure valve that you'll see uh, when it's maxed out and then you're good to go. But this one, I think we should be able to pump up, charge it and uh, be able to spray at least uh, one wheel. So let's go ahead and pump. And as soon as you hear the bottle hissing, that means you know it's properly charged and it's at the max uh, pressure inside. So let's go ahead and start spraying it and see what this uh, wear in pump sprayer can do. So as you can see, it produced a very foamy soap, but it was short-lived, I feel. 
I feel that the spray pattern was okay, but I didn't have enough pressure for one charge to get the whole wheel. So let's go ahead and uh, recharge it again. Heard it hiss, so that means we're at the max uh, pressure. Let's go ahead and try it again. Let's uh, change the tip to uh, horizontal and let's see how uh, it works. I'm going to say it's safe to say we'll have the same results. And one thing you have to remember that as you use uh, your soapy solution it, and you try to uh, pressurize the can once again, it'll take a little bit longer because there's more empty volume there's more space inside that has to be pressurized so it's something that's a uh, part of uh, pumping it and you hear it's uh, at max pressure it's releasing a little bit now we'll try the horizontal it looks like we get better results being close to it Again, looks like nice, rich, rich lather. That's something that uh, I like. And one more thing, you see how we're at, uh, there's no more pressure, foam just coming out. And, and watch as we release it, how much pressure comes out, how much air comes out. So that's still a lot of pressure in here. The can is pressurized, even though it's not foaming as much. So you really want to release the pressure before you open the can. Guys, you saw the result of this. We just foamed down one wheel to show you the performance of this unit itself. Wayron has my thumb of approval, thumbs up to them. They're a good company, uh, something. They produce very quality materials. This plastic seems very hard. Doesn't seem flimsy like other uh, bottles you get from other foam cannons or hand pump sprayers. Something that I do recommend you pick one of these up. It's something you could use for your wheels, something you could use for your car, something you could use around the house for your kitchen or for your bathroom. All you got to do is fill up your uh, favorite soap, favorite uh, cleaner, and go ahead and start foaming. What I do recommend is after each use, the foam filter that's in here, you rinse it out. Uh, what happens is a lot of soap gets stuck in the filter and a lot of hard water minerals get this filter contaminated and you won't get the results you did the first time you used it. So go ahead and rinse it out. Keep it on the side, let it air dry, put everything back together. And again, on this journey, we'll be going through a lot more hand pump uh, sprayers as well as foam cannons. So guys, stay tuned. You're here for the first time, hit that like button and please subscribe.